Hi everybody, I'm Claudio, the CEO of Orthoponics, the company that is going to make agriculture scalable. Yes, I said agriculture. Probably you never heard about it, but I guess you can imagine what it is. This is agriculture, the future of architecture. It's about growing plants and vegetables on our buildings. And let me tell you someone who is really interested in agriculture, real estate owners. Real estate owners are constantly searching for ways to make their properties more profitable and with an higher value. And high value properties have premium certifications. These properties have an higher ROI, higher tax incentives, and attracts more construction companies and tenants. And what is one of the best strategy to earn one of these certification? Is to follow the green and agriculture trend, creating environmental friendly building in which people want to live, in which we all want to live. But the current solutions available on the market to add green to buildings are not scalable. These solutions are rooftop farms and green walls. Why are they not scalable? Because of this. These structures need constant maintenance by highly skilled workers who sometimes work in dangerous conditions. The maintenance is one of the main reasons these structures are not economically sustainable. And this discourages real estate owners to add green to building. We at Orthoponics came out with a solution that solved this problem and makes agriculture available everywhere. Orthoponics is a vertical system to grow edible and ornamental plants on every building. It's modular, it's easy to install, and it fits every vertical surface. But most of all, we remove the need of human maintenance, thanks to our patent pending automation technology. Our technology is made up of integrated wireless sensor that monitor the growth of the plant and the robotic arm that harvests and replaces them. How? It's simple. Imagine a salad ready to be harvested or a, an ornamental plant which must be replaced. Our robotic arm is able to move on trucks, pick up the pot and take it to the rooftop where the pot is dropped off. Then the robotic arm picks up a new pot and comes back to replace it. Our system transforms every building in a green, sustainable and productive building. The market of all equipment and technologies to make green building is huge. It's expected to grow to 200 billion euros by 2020. And we are looking at high potential markets in which activities around green building has grown three times on average in the last three years, such as China, Singapore, Brazil, India, and South Africa. Our competitors are companies that produce rooftop farms, green walls, and automation technologies for the plant growth. But we differ from them because we combine these technologies into a modular system suitable for every building and that is completely automated. We sell our system to real estate owners at 500 euros per square meter. And let me give you an example. 100 square meters of our system will cost 50,000 euros and we'll earn half of it. And the real estate owner can expect an increase in the value of the building between 10 and 20 percent. We are not just an idea. We develop our first working prototype. We finalize the design of our modular system and we develop our first servicing automation technology. You can see it 20 kilometers from here in our technological farm. We plan to optimize our technology by the end of this year in order to sell our first 200 square meters in the coming year. Our team is a mixture of technical competencies and passion. I dreamed to use the science to change the world since I was a child. Now I am a biotechnologist and as a CEO of orthoponics I realized my dream. Fabio left his job as automation researcher for University of Bologna. 
to join us. Damiano has four years experience in project management and fundraising. Valerio is an aquaponic and hydroponic expert who founded The Circle, the first aquaponic farm in Italy. And Thomas has worked as a marketing consultant for several years for several tech companies. But we are not alone in this run. We have technological design and production partners that are working with us every day to make orthoponics a reality. We have all the competencies and the fortitude to reach our goals, but we know that bringing hardware project to the market requires effort and money. We have been achieving a lot of results thanks to our commitment and with small funding. But now, to bring out our technology to the market, we are looking for your help. With 800,000 heroes, we'll be able to optimize our technology and to produce and distribute it in the next year. We are strongly motivated to provide the best technology to build the cities of the future. Cities with green and productive buildings that are better for us and for our planet. Thanks. So, a couple of questions for orthoponics. Um, yeah, you mentioned plants, growing plants. How about edible plants? You know, what kind of productivity can you achieve there? And also, how about pollution? How do you deal with that? Yeah, thanks, Peter. We optimize our system to grow leafy vegetables, like every kind of salad, lettuce, cabbage, aromatic herbs, and so on. About the productivity, for example, 100 square meters of our system produces enough vegetables for 20, 25 families. Of course, the productivity depends on the region, on the season, but this is the average. And about the pollution, yeah, it's a good question. I am a scientist, and I believe in science, I'm sorry. And as science tells to us, the pollution goes into the vegetables through the soil. But we use free soil cultivation, that is hydroponics. So yeah, our vegetables are not polluted. How about IP? So you'll probably see there, I mean, the key and nice thing, it's not just the robotic arm, not just the modularity of the system, but it's a smart rail that enables to have an arm move all along the wall, right? So how about IP? Yeah. We patented uh, our maintenance system for vertical garden and green walls with particular claims regarding the modular technology that is made up by rails and the robotic arm. We embedded the rails in the system in order to allow the robotic arm to easily move on them and to easily reach every plant on the system. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Peter. Thanks.